This is the Samsung Galaxy S23 durability test. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and follow me on Twitter so you'll be notified once I upload a new video. To start off, I'll drop the phone in water for about 3 minutes. The phone seems to be working fine without any problems. Later on during the teardown video, we'll see if any water got inside. Moving on to the scratch test. I'll start off by using a set of keys and some coins. Even after putting the keys and coins in my pocket and moving it around, there seems to be no scratches whatsoever. Now it's time to use the Mohs Hardness Kit to further test the scratch resistance. Here's a look at the Mohs Hardness tables and the level each item scratches at. And here are the instructions for using the picks. The directions state to hold the hardness pick at a 70 degree angle like riding with a pen. And it also states to use medium 7 pounds of force. So I'm trying my best to do exactly what the directions state to get the most proper results. Now depending on how much force a person applies, the results can vary. For example, if I press down really hard on one of the picks, I can possibly force some scratches, but that won't provide accurate results. Again, I can't say that the results I get are 100% accurate, it's just the results that I'm getting based on the amount of pressure that I'm using. Also the picks do need to be calibrated or sharpened, which I make sure to do. We start seeing some very faint scratches out of number 7, and some actual scratches out of number 8. I applied a bit more pressure on the S23 versus the S23 Ultra. Now I'm going to press down even harder to see if I can force scratches at lower levels. So now as we can see after I press down really hard, I was able to get scratches to show up at number 6 and even at number 5. But that doesn't necessarily mean the results are accurate, since the directions state to use a medium amount of force. Now whether I'm right or wrong, I'm not stating that these are facts. These are just the results that I got, and you can compare it with the results from others to come up with a conclusion for yourself. Hopefully at least this will provide some information. On the back, we start seeing scratches at an 8 or a 9. The glass over the camera scratches at an 8. Now for the final part of the durability test, 
I'll place the phone in some sand or gravel and move it around to see if we get any scrapes or scratches from that. After moving it around in the sand and gravel, we can see a large gash in the screen or a scrape and also some more scuffing around the screen. The frame also got some scratches or scuffs around it. However, the back doesn't seem to have any additional damage. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the teardown.